Hello, hello, my friends. Wolf Tiger here, and I'm coming at you Thursday morning after reading the news. And because of that, it's time, once again, to take a look at the things that make you go, hmm, the series that takes an editorial look at the realm of video games and technology. So let's get started. In what could only be described as the beginning of the apocalypse, industry analysts predict that the Kim Kardashian video game could generate $200 million this year. Yes, you heard me right, $200 million generated from a crappy iOS game based on a reality TV star's lifestyle. Let me get you more details on this silly story. Reality TV star Kim Kardashian's newly released video game, Kim Kardashian Hollywood, could generate as much as $200 million this year through in-app purchases. That's according to video game industry analyst Doug Krutz, who talks about the free mobile game as part of a Bloomberg feature today. There's no such thing as bad publicity, right? Krutz said. Obviously, Kim Kardashian's brand has driven people to download the game, but at this point, the game has taken on a life of its own. To put the $200 million figure into context, Electronic Arts' free-to-play mobile game The Simpsons Tapped Out took more than a year to reach $100 million in lifetime revenue. It might be our biggest game of the year, CEO Niccolo Demasi said. We're not surprised Kim is a one-of-a-kind talent with an incredibly precise fit to the game engine that we tailored but already had in the company. In the game, you create your own character. Oh wow, so unique. And live the life of a celebrity. You can walk the red carpet, visit clubs, and buy luxury homes. Oh, I can't wait. The game even lets you date and dump celebrities in an effort to become the next huge celebrity power couple. Oh boy, that sounds so exciting. Not. So there you have it. An iOS free game filled with microtransactions is expected to generate $200 million because it's loosely based on the life of a woman famous for being famous. Nothing else. And that just boggles my mind. How can something like this just come about and be expected to make a lot of money and make people happy? There's nothing to it. If you'll excuse me, I'm just gonna beat my head into the desk over and over again. Why? 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 <sighs> okay, now that that's out of my system, we can only hope that this analyst is absolutely out of his mind. Especially if we have any hope of video games being considered a mainstream adult media. It's sad really when you think about all those struggling developers out there who are trying to get video games accepted as a mainstream media, working hard on developing mature storylines, mature characters, and mature subject matters when crap like this can go out and make money easily just because it's the hit fad and it supports that thought process that video games are for kids and the socially awkward. And I would just hope that people were smart enough not to buy into this kind of thing. But here we have an analyst, an industry analyst, expert on video games saying, yeah, this thing's gonna make a lot of money. It's good, it's great. No, it's not good, it's not great, it's downright scary. So if there's any hope for humanity, this thing won't reach $200 million. It won't even come close. As always, we'll keep our eyes open and see what happens next. That's all for now. Peace out.